Hey guys! Welcome back to our channel and for our today's video, pag-uusapan natin kung paano tayo makakakuha ng travel clearance for minors children from DSWD. Aalamin din natin kung sino ang mga may kailangan nito, kung ano mga requirements for new application and renewal, yung mga special circumstances, and important reminders then when securing a travel clearance, pati mga exemptions, DSWD services for MTA, and so on. Um, first guys, um, alamin na muna natin kung para saan ba yung travel clearance. So, para to sa mga minor child na nag-travel outside the country na hindi kasama yung both parents nila. And kailangan nga ng travel clearance from DSWD. Without this, the child will not be allowed to leave the country. So, um, this uh, clearance guys will be checked at the boarding reception and immigration. And if the child or yung kasama nilang matanda... Uh, fails to show one, he or she will not be allowed to board the flight. And sino naman yung mga kailangan kumuha ng travel clearance? So, hindi naman a porket minor, kailangan mo ng travel clearance. So, may mga um, exemption dyan. So, first guys, is yung mga minor na mag-travel mag-isa. Pangalawa, minor traveling with adoptive parents for purpose of inter-country adoption. And then, minor traveling with a person other than the child's parents, legal guardian, or person with legal custody over the child. And then, illegitimate minor traveling with his or her biological father only. Ibig sabihin, um, kung hindi kasal yung parents nila and tatay lang nila yung kasama nila, kailangan pa rin nila ng travel clearance. And then, married minors are still required to secure a travel clearance. So, at least 18 years old and below yung mga minor, syempre, na hindi kasama yung parents nila ang kailang kumuha ng travel clearance. Now, pag-usapan naman natin yung mga requirements for new applications sa pagkuha ng travel clearance kung first time. Kailangan mo lang ng duly accomplished DSWD travel travel clearance application form na makukuha niyo from DSWD. So, I think meron din sila through online. You can print that out. And then second naman is PSA birth certificate of the minor. Kailangan original and photocopy guys. And if the child's birth registration daw is delayed kapag hindi agad na pa-register yung um, bata once na pinanganak, include his or her baptismal certificate. Kailangan may ano, baptismal cert uh, certificate ka or immunization record or school records. Next naman is PSA marriage certificate of parents if the child is legitimate. So, kung uh, legitimate yung bata, which is kasal yung both parents nila, kailangan ng original and photocopy ng marriage certificate. Kailangan PSA. And if ever man na uh, illegitimate yung bata, kailangan meron siyang, uh, yung mother ay mag-send ng senomar, yung PSA certificate of no marriage nila. Original and photocopy then PSA death certificate naman if yung isa sa kanila ay patay na. Ngayon, the parents or person who has parental authority or legal custody over the child must also present a notarized affidavit of consent. In the affidavit, guys, the parent must state that he or she is permitting the minor child to travel outside the Philippines and must specify the country, purpose of travel, and inclusive dates of travel. The names of the persons traveling with the child must also be indicated in the affidavit. And to get this one, guys, yung affidavit of consent, punta kayo sa mismong DSWD, kumuha kayo ng paper nila, and then yun yung ipapanotarize natin. Hindi nila kukunin yung papel, guys, na ginawa nyo lang, which is yung affidavit of consent, kahit notarize pa yan. So make sure na yung papel na kukunin nyo for affidavit of consent ay galing sa DSWD. And then after that, guys, include copies of parents or legal guardians valid IDs with specimen signatures. If parents are abroad, kung nasa ibang bansa, present copies na lang ng passport nila and visa or seafarer's book if one of um, or both parents are seafarers. And then, two colored passport, guys. Um, passport size, pictures of minor child with white background. So, kailangan dalawang colored passport size, pictures of minor with white background naman. And, kailangan din ng original and copy of the minor's traveling companion's valid passport. So, yung kasama nung minor na mag-travel sa ibang bansa, kailangan mag-present din or mag-send din ng original copy ng kanilang passport. And, if the companion daw is not a relative of the child, include a notarized affidavit of undertaking. And, you also need a notarized affidavit of support and certified through 
copy of any evidence to show financial capability of sponsor. So, kailangan ipanotarize din ito. Now, guys, sa mga magre-renew lang, so, kailangan nyo lang din yung duly accomplished DSWD Travel Clearance Application Form, which is galing sa DSWD, and original copy of old travel clearance from the DSWD NCR naman. Kailangan nyo rin yung notarized affidavit of consent consent by the parent's legal guardian or the person who exercises parental authority over the child. And the affidavit must contain the parent's express permission to allow their child to travel outside the Philippines. Specifying yung mismo country of destination, yung purpose ng trip, inclusive dates or yung dates of travel nila, name ng mga kasama nung bata or nung minor, and yung relationship nila dun sa person na kasama nila. And then include copies of parents or legal guardians valid IDs as well with specimen of signature. And if parents are abroad, same lang din do sa um, una kanina, present copies of their passport and visa or seafarer's book if one or both parents are seafarers. Kailangan din ng two colored passport size pictures of minor with white background, original copy of the minor's traveling companion's valid passport, yung kasama ng minor. And if hindi nga relative yung magiging kasama ng minor sa paglabas ng bansa, kailangan ng um, notarized affidavit of undertaking. And notarized affidavit of support to show the financial capability of the child's travel sponsor. Kung may sponsor sila, kailangan din ng notarized affidavit of support. Now naman guys, ito yung mga iba pang circumstances sa pagkuha ng travel clearance. First, if the child is traveling alone, uh, the following must be presented in addition to the requirements for travel clearance. So, on the top of the requirements na sinabi natin kanina, kasama dapat ito kung alone or mag-isa na mag-travel yung bata. Now, ang kailangan is yung unaccompanied minor certificate from the airlines. Parents must execute a waiver to free the DSW NCR from any liabilities in case na may mangyari doon sa bata. And then, relatives abroad who will be providing board and lodging for the minor must send a letter of invitation including a copy of their passport and visa if kailangan lang naman, kung pwede, or kung meron man. Now naman, if the child is traveling to attend a conference, a field trip, or any uh, school-related trip, trip or competition, student exchange program, or church-related activities, the following must be presented. Kailangan ng certificate of participation printed on organization's letterhead and signed by principal, parish, officer, etc. Invitation from the organization abroad that will be sponsoring the event activity include um, the itinerary of the travel. And if the event of sports competition present an affidavit of undertaking to indicate the safety measures undertaken but by the sports agency. And kung mag-aaral naman yung bata sa abroad, certificate of acceptance or proof of enrollment registration from the school where the child will be studying. And if the child is traveling for medical reasons naman, kailangan ng medical abstract. Attending physician signed recommendation for the child to undergo the medical procedure abroad. Now naman guys, uh, yung mga important reminders uh, when securing a travel clearance um, from the DSWD. Um, if ang minor is below 13 years old, hindi sila pwedeng mag-travel mag-isa. Kailangan may kasama sila. So, a visa petition approval is required if yung purpose ng minor's travel is migration to another country. And then, special requirements naman will be asked for the parents' legal guardians if the purpose of the minor's travel is for inter-country adoption. And special requirements then will be asked of the parents' legal guardians if the minor is under foster care or under legal guardianship and if, and if the child is the subject of an ongoing adoption case he or she will not be issued travel clearance so a decree of adoption and certificate of finality form from the court must be presented in order for a travel clearance to be issued for the child so kung ongoing pa adoption hindi siya pwedeng issue ng travel clearance unless may finality na from court na okay na yung adoption nila. And, meron naman syempre mga exempted sa pagsasecure ng travel clearance. Sa so, mga hindi pa, uh, hindi na kailang kumuha ng travel clearance, ito ay yung mga minor 
na legitimate child and traveling with one or both parents. So, kailangan legitimate sila or sabihin natin kasal yung parents nila para maging legitimate yung child. So, hindi na nila kailangan kumuha ng travel clearance. Pangalawa naman, if yung minor ay illegitimate child and mag-travel with the bi- biological mother, yun, hindi na rin kailangan as long as kasama yung biological mother nila, kahit wala na yung father, lalo na kung illegitimate. And if the minor naman is an illegitimate child and tr- is traveling with his or her biological father who has sole parental authority or custody as evident by a court order. Ibig sabihin guys, kung illegitimate yung bata and ang kasama niya is yung biological father naman niya, kailangan um, nasa kanya yung parental authority or custody ng bata. So kahit wala, nang, um, wala na yung parent or yung mother nila, okay lang as long as nasa kanya yung sole parental authority. Next naman, if the minor is traveling with his or her legal guardian, ayan, pwede yan, hindi na nila kailangan, basta legal guardian sila on papers. And if the minor is traveling with his or her adoptive parents and can present na meron silang adoption decree and certificate of finality. So, yun yung mga exempted sa pag sa pagkukuha or sa pagkasisecure ng travel clearance. Guys, yun yung mga way para makapa, makakuha ng travel clearance by walk-in as long as complete na lahat ng uh, papers ninyo. Pero meron ding way para makapag-apply ng travel clearance online through the DSWD e-service. And here's how you can do it. Just kailangan lang natin pumunta sa dswd.gov.ph and then punta lang kayo sa e-services. Click nyo yung e-services. And then, after that, lalabas yung sa drop-down. Click mo lang ulit yung e-services. And then, click mo naman yung travel clearance for minors traveling abroad. Now, dito na kayo mapupunta. So, da- meron kayong dalawang choices uh, to register or to log in kung meron na kayong account dito sa DSWD. Ngayon, kung bago kayo, click mo lang yung sa if you don't have an online account, kindly click the register here. And then after that, you just have to fill up the information here like email address, password, confirm password mo lang, and then yung first name and last name ninyo, and then yung inyong phone number. After that, click mo yung I'm not a robot. Click mo din yung accept terms and condition, then click the sign up button. After that, ayan yung lalabas. And ayan, you just have to log in dun sa email address na ni-register natin dito sa kanilang website. And ayan, so meron kayong three choices dito, yung apply for travel clearance for minors traveling abroad. Ngayon, kung meron na kayong application dito, you can track it online via this one. But if bago kayo, click mo lang yung apply for travel clearance for minors traveling abroad. And ayan nga guys, dito kayo mapupunta kung saan may tatlong step. Which is kailangan mong um, ilagay yung mga basic information ng minor na kinukuhanan mo ng travel um, clearance. You just have to fill up all those information. And then after that, na dito kayo mapupunta sa step 2 kung saan kailangan nyo lang... Um, ibigay sa kanila or i-upload yung mga files or yung mga requirements na ating diniscuss earlier. And then after that, ayan. So, i-review na lang nila yan guys after that. And kailangan lang natin mag-intay ng email from them para malaman natin kung okay ba. But, mas okay pa rin na mag walk in kayo kasi hindi kompleto yung mga nakalagay dito sa online nila. And madalas guys, matagal bago sila mag-email sa inyo. In our case, dumating, um, hindi sila nag-reply. So, umabot na yata ng ilang months and walang galaw dun sa application natin. Um, if pupunta naman kayo at mag walk in kayo, same day as long as kompleto lahat ng requirements inyo, makukuha na agad-agad yung inyong travel clearance. So, hindi nyo na kailangan magpabalik-balik as long as kumpleto lahat ng requirements natin. And within a few hours or mga ilang oras lang naman guys, siguro mga one hour lang, makukuha ninyo na agad-agad. So usually guys, yung processing fee for each travel clearance na ini-issue for minors ay 300 pesos na may valid of one year and 600 naman for two years yata or three years. But anyway, yun lang naman yung mga kailangan yung bayaran. Um, maliban pa dun siya, pero dun sa pag Uh, papanotarize ng mga, infer- ng mga requirements and as well as yung iba pang requirements na kailangan natin kunin sa PSA and so on. 
and that's it for this video guys if you still have any questions regarding um on how you can secure your travel clearance you can just comment it down in our comment section and ita try natin sagutin yan thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next one